welcome to our class tonight. We're so glad to have you here with us tonight. We are doing an Oilers to get you beautiful DIY gifts that not only meet the budget, but they're beautiful. So we're going to make some of our favorites that got shared in Little Drops in November um, by Lee Ann Peace. And I'm super excited to do this with you because legitimately these are things I'm giving to family and friends for Christmas. So thank you for letting me not have to do them on Christmas Eve when I normally do my Christmas gifts. So <laughs> I'm going to be ahead of the game starting tonight with you. So welcome, welcome. I know you are looking for a last minute gift because you are very prepared and you're done and you have already wrapped them and they're under the tree and you can't wait to give them to people. But me, I have not done that yet. So we are going to make some gifts with you tonight. We're super excited. So jump on in, get a cozy spot, maybe get some Ningxia in a glass or get some hot tea. I love the spiced turmeric tea at nighttime by Young Living. It is so good. And you can add a little swirl of peppermint to it. And it's really, really nice, especially if you need to wake up just a little bit right now to um, hang on with us for about 30, 45 minutes. So these are going to be great gifts because not only are they going to help um, meet the budget for Christmas, so you can actually give to more people. Or if you're like, I just need to stretch every dollar I have right now because we've had a hard year or a hard season or whatever, we can get you um, those budget-friendly items that are so beautiful. And the best part is they are toxic-free, harsh chemical-free, and they are really, really good for your receiver's health. So they're going to see lots of health benefits. So we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Tonight, our first DIY that we're going to be doing is a DIY room spray. This is a holiday room spray. I'm super excited about it. It's so beautiful. And I loved the recipe for it because it said to add an extra little thing, um, which is a cinnamon stick. I love it when we get like little bottles of something like a room spray or a perfume or a roller and they have like some extra little tangible things in it, like something earthy, something straight from God's creation, like these beautiful little cinnamon sticks. I've had these for about five years and I get them from the bulk herb store online. And so I usually make toothpaste with these and that was before I came across with the thieves toothpaste. And that was before we really got started in Young Living. I didn't know. And then I was ma literally making my own toothpaste, like just like our thieves toothpaste. And I was selling it to friends because they wanted some too. And then here comes Young Living and it saved my life in so many different ways. But these are actually from old school days of making toothpaste. And I would buy tons of these all the time. It was so much work. So thankful for Young Living. Okay. So you're going to need one cinnamon stick and you're gonna need a glass bottle. Now the picture is a glass amber bottle and I just happen to have some. You can get these on Amazon or Life Science Publishing at discoverlsp.com or just go on to Amazon. It's a great place to get them. There, I'm sure there's other places. Those are just like the two places I kind of frequent to get them. Um, there is a beautiful glass bottle set on Amazon. It's like $18 and I believe it comes with like 18 different glass bottles. Um, that are a variety of sizes. So there's a couple of these in there, but if you wanna do a few of these, you can get a, a set, I believe it's six or eight that come in a package for maybe $5 or $6. So you're gonna put your cinnamon stick in here. So make sure you have a skinny one. I had to really sort through my bag to get my cinnamon stick to make sure it would fit in there. I thought I was gonna need a power tool, but I did not. So you're gonna stick that right in there. And then you are going to add in cinnamon bark oil. You're gonna do 10 drops of cinnamon bark oil. And what I'm gonna do, um, so you can see what I'm doing here, is I'm gonna move this down a little bit. You can't see me anymore. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Get my phone in the way. Of cinnamon bark. And this is legitimately straight from the recipe that we shared into Little Drops. One, oh, I think I grabbed a bottle that only had like a couple of drops in it. Does that happen to anyone else? Oh, just kidding.
And then you're, you are gonna need 10 drops of pine. This one's actually optional, says the recipe, but I'm putting it in there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of pine. Oh, I'm gonna get Haley back in there. Okay, and then you're gonna get ten drops of orange. So I'm gonna add in ten drops of orange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is already smelling amazing in here, like so nice. Okay, then you're gonna add in a splash of witch hazel. So I'm gonna put my splash. Now the witch hazel is just to keep it from separating the water and the oils and emulsifier. So you don't need a lot of it, just a tiny bit. And then the rest is your water. I have like this little tiny funnel. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? I love these. I think I got this on Amazon like a long time ago. I'm sure they still have them. Then you're gonna fill the rest up with your water like that that out and then put your little spray nozzle on there and that one's done and I'm going to go ahead and do four more um, and then for like tag options there's so many different options to make it super cute I have used um, these little Avery key tags before these are super cute for um, bottles and they're not like so Christmassy it's like good for like a guy you can just put the um, holiday room spray. You can write that right on there. You can add the recipe. The recipe again was pine, cinnamon bark, and orange. You can put that on there um, so they know what they're smelling, but that's like super cute. So if you want it to be like real neutral or like kind of trendy looking, you could do something like that. And I normally add like a piece of twine on there. My daughter has confiscated all twine because she's making these like feather projects right now for gifts. So I couldn't find my twine, but that's an option. Another option, I got these on, um, Target at Target a few years ago, and I still have a ton left. You can attach this with some twine, or I had some really pretty tool left over from like a wedding, I believe. You could feed this through, and that would be like a really pretty label. That's like more girly. That would be cute. Um, maybe something like this, like a little paper tag. These are really cute. This is just a mason jar tag. Um, and then if you're like, I'm in a hurry and I don't have any fancy tags, you can always go with washi tape. I love washi tape. So I'm gonna go ahead and make up a couple of these while our class goes on and then I'll get back to you and show you what I've done. Um, and I think next is um, Jennifer's DIY, is that right? I think the next one's Jennifer's. Okay, so Jennifer is doing, but she's not here tonight. She wasn't feeling well. Tonight, we are doing a diffuser bomb. Now, I love diffuser bombs, and you can really make these super inexpensively. All you have to do is get an old bottle. You can get an old 5 ml like this, or you can go on Amazon and you can order um, a few like really cute dropper bottles. We've had like a few of those that have like the little, um, they're kind of like little pipette kind of like tops on them. Um, so what I normally do as far as reusing a bottle is just take the label off and then you're gonna take your lemon oil or you can use lemongrass. Really, you can do a lot of different oils to take the label off. We always love lemon and it's inexpensive. So you'll take some lemon, get the sticky off and then open this up. I actually grabbed an empty Christmas spirit because that is actually the diffuser bomb that we're gonna be making tonight. So I take the ring off the neck when I do these, when I'm refilling and making a diffuser bomb. So I'm gonna take that off and then we're gonna take the little spacer piece out. And the diffuser bomb is actually Christmas spirit. That's why I grabbed this one and vanilla. So if you happen to get a bottle of vanilla before it went out of stock, um, you can use this. And I love that the vanilla is not very much. It is like $30. So I've been using the mess out of this vanilla already this season. So the diffuser bomb, you can do, you can half it, 20 drops um, uh, Christmas spirit, 20 drops vanilla. If you really love the person, you're like, I am doing this much. Now, if you want to just bless them a little bit, maybe just do like 10 and 10, five and five, whatever you want to do, but you want to um, do equal parts, um, vanilla and Christmas spirit. And then you will put the lid back on here put the cap back on here and then you can use washi tape. You can make a fancy little tag like this and you will call it, I don't know if this one actually had a name. You could call it Christmas 
diffuser bomb if you wanted or something like cutesy like that. But this is really nice. This would be a nice little Christmas stocking stuffer um, for like if my mother-in-law and my mom love oils as well. My mom is actually the one that gifted me this Christmas spirit last year. So it would be really fitting for me to return this to her this year um, as just a little like whatnot gift um, that has some vanilla in it too. So these are really sweet. So I would do equal drops, whatever you want to, um, however many drops you want to put in vanilla and Christmas spirit, and then they're ready to go and they just drop them in their diffuser. They don't have to worry about grabbing all the bottles and putting them in. This one's ready to go. So, all right, we're going to go on to the next person. Haley, were you doing this one tonight? Nope, it's my turn. Sorry, I was having some technical difficulties getting my mute button off while I was in the screen share. <laughs> okay, but here we go. So I am going to talk to you about the Amber Necklace and Copaiba. So this is like the teething gift. So every mom's dream gift. <laughs> I mean, teething relief, we all need that, right? So actually we came to first grab one of these amber necklaces with my oldest Liam, who is eight now, when he was teething, he had one of these, like, it was like a, almost like a blister over his tooth when his first tooth came in. And so the doctor told us that it was, you know, pretty normal and okay, but it would probably bust and bleed a lot, like as the tooth came through. So um, a friend of mine told me to grab one of these and they would help for comfort. Um, and so um, we let him wear it. And after a couple of weeks, that blister really did just dissipate. It did not bust like the doctor said that it would probably do. So I kind of attributed that to the, to the necklace because that was the only thing we really did for it at the time. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. And um, his tooth, like the blister just went away. His tooth came through. I was just so worried I would like <laughs> come into like this crazy scene in his crib where, you know, the blister had busted, but it, it didn't, it just kind of went away. Um, and then Copaiba, we actually cannot be out of this stuff. This is like a staple in our house and especially for teething. So when Winnie, our daughter was teething, um, we would just put some on our finger and rub it right onto her gums. Um, we, it's so gentle and you use so little that, um, we didn't even dilute it. We just put it right on her gums and it really helped um, support like a numbing feeling for her and it made her feel so much better. Um, so that is the Amber Necklace and the Copaiba. Um, both of those things are just like the mama's dream gift, <laughs> honestly. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pass it to Kaylin. I think she's doing this next one. All right, guys. So I actually absolutely loved making one of these. Um, and I actually pre-made it. Sorry, I didn't know that we would have time to <laughs> do all that. But so this was my um, favorite because I got this cute little, um, it's a glass bottle. And it's like the old timey perfume spray I had it made for my mom. Um, and you just take off the top. Um, and I got that off Amazon for $10. It was like a great thing. So uh, you just take the top off like that and then put the essential oils in. Um, but this is an amazing perfume. It's 20 drops of lavender, um, 12 drops of orange, 12 drops of bergamot, um, 10 drops of lime, eight drops of jasmine and eight drops of vanilla. And I saw a lot of people, um, uh, if you don't have jasmine, I think they were, I saw where they were putting in, um, what was it, uh, Lang Lang and, um, or Rosemary in the place of that, if you happen to not have Jasmine. Um, but this was a super awesome gift and I can't wait to give it to my mom and it was fun to make. Um, so that is the one that I did for my DIY. And I'll pass it on to Haley. All right, that was so awesome. I'm excited to make that perfume. 
So, um, because I know a couple people in my life that would, that love perfume, but they don't use essential oils. So I think that'd be a great gift. So, um, I, we actually made this today. The, um, Haley, Haley, we can't hear you. I think you got muted somehow. Oh, can you hear me now? Yes, I got you. Okay. I don't know where it cut off, so I'll just start from the beginning. But um, I can't wait to make that perfume. Um, also, uh, we made this Play-Doh today. And um, can you guys hear me now? Okay. So we made the, the, this Play-Doh today, and I'm excited to, um, like, get some for my kids especially like the wooden little rollers and stuff but you can order the rollers um uh off of amazon and they come in like a pack i think it's like 10.99 uh the same ones that are on this picture right here and then you can order the little um the little containers i think those were like 4.99 um but we made the play-doh and i actually today what i put it in is i put it in a little glass mason jar a little um tub mason jar that you could put like you know that you would ignore I don't know the size of those maybe like a, a little um half bite I don't know but those so we put it in that and I just put a little uh cute little bow around it and um you can't so what we did is we did half it was a cup of flour half a cup of salt and then um half a cup of water and you just mix that all together we just like my kids and I we just used our hands and good sensory play with them um but you can add food coloring if you like and that's kind of up to your preference today we didn't add any food coloring um but you can add just one to two drops of food coloring and depending on like what your uh if you want it darker or lighter you can mix the colors and then we you can put like three to four drops of essential oil so uh we put stress away in ours because like all the moms and kids need stress away so we did that and um like i said we put three to four drops of that in our um in our play-doh but this is a really good one because when your kids are getting just the regular play-doh uh there's just so much like toxic stuff in that and then they're getting it in their hands and i don't know about you guys but my kids um especially my middle child loves to eat play-doh and so i'm like i feel really good about you if you get this in your mouth, it's not like really toxic. So another thing um, with the Play-Doh, when you're making it, um, it's kind of your preference on how, like it's gonna be kind of like um, liquid, like it's gonna be really, um, it's depending on if it's really wet, then you can put more flour in it. And if it's more dry, you can put more water in it. So it's just kind of your preference when you're making it with your kids. But I thought this would be a really cute gift for um, kids, like for your stocking stuffers, or if you have, I know for me, I have nieces and nephews that um, would love this in just like, you know, getting them different colors and like making it, um, you know, different like animal shapes that you could get so that's what I had and I'm going to pass this off to um Miss Jenny and she's going to share some more with us okay hang on one second let me get myself I can see myself on the screen okay there it is <laughs> okay um I am doing the uh, stain um stick the one with the lemon in it and um, it was a very very simple recipe and so I went ahead and, and pre-did it so I didn't know how involved it would be okay, let me switch back. all right so what I did was I put in um you fill it halfway with uh, the thieves dish soap and then you put 20 drops, yeah, 20 drops of the lemon, and then you fill it the rest of the way with water. And then you just simply put a label on it. And I just have, I just happen to have these little um, cute little um, devotional stickers and I just put them on there and I 
put uh, just cover on it with the regular scotch tape. That way the, the words don't bleed. And um, I like to use the, uh, the bottles that I already have because I like to save money that way. But, and I like to keep them in the original bottle because that way you have the information from Young Living there and what's in it, um, any information already on it. That's just, that's just the way I do it. And um, you could add it uh, a roller to it. You could leave it with the, the way it is. You could add a roller to it, or you could add, um, get a spray and I have the sprays. Or if you don't want the bottles, then I have some cute little uh, roller bottles or little small sprays that I've, I've gotten. And um, that's how I make mine. And in the, in the video, on the page, it says to suggest to give them the lemon oil to go with it. And I got the uh, Vitality one. And um, I like to um, add in some information when I send a gift out. I like to add, put up like a little, get a little card. And I like to make a copy of, if you have these books, I don't know if you have these books or not, but these are the books that you can get off of um, uh, Life Science. And it shows different ways that you could use the oils. And then that way they can see that not only they can use the lemon for the stain stick, they could use the lemon for, for other things. And so that's why I do, like put that on a little cute little card, or you can just put it on like a little postcard type thing. And then there's a variation to it that I made um, earlier, and it has the uh, hydrogen peroxide in it. So it's a half of a teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide, the uh, one teaspoon of the Thieves Household Cleaner, a half of a teaspoon of the dish soap, three drops of the lemon, and um, then you just kind of gently shake it because it foams up. And that's, that's a, another variation to it. I put it in just like a little cute little gift bag. And if you don't have the Thieves um, dish soap, because sometimes it's out of stock, it was out of stock, um, you could use the uh, Dr. Bronner's uh, Castile soap. And um, yeah, that's how I do it. And I also um, use the uh, boiling, bo boiling water that I've let cool down. Um, sometimes, uh, that way you can, um, don't have to worry with the distilled water, you could use that. So that's how I've been uh, make my, mine. I make all kinds of uh, DIYs all the time and try to go do different variations with it and see what works best for me. And um, I try to always um, give them information when I when I give somebody a gift. Um, I always like to give them you know a backup plan where they can see what else they could do with their their oils and. Um, the other thing is um, today I had I had got something out of the dishwasher. And um, it wasn't, it didn't come clean. And uh, so it had some cooked on uh, grease still left on it. And I took the spray that I had made with the hydrogen peroxide and I sprayed that on there. And then I took a toothbrush and it came right off. So not only is it good for the stains, it's good for getting that um, off of the, your cookware and stuff. So, and uh, also I use the, um, the one with the hydrogen peroxide, I use that for my liquid bleach. So um, there's just so many ways that we can use these oils. And um, this is a, just a cute little uh, get in the door because it, this is only like $6, $6.50 for the, uh, the oil. And then you, I already have a bunch of these extra bottles. And so it's just a matter of just a little bit of lemon oil for me. So um, I hope that it's helpful to y'all. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Jenny. Really appreciate that. I am almost done with these room sprays. I made my last one. Um, Ms. Jenny is going to talk to, what well, I'm sorry, we have seed to seal now. Um, I think, Haley, are you talking to us about seed to seal tonight? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Um, so a big thing with, um, that is such a big deal. And I think especially coming on to Christmas because you really, you know, a lot, so many people get like perfumes. I know for me, me and my husband used to buy each other like perfumes 
for Christmas and I used to have all these different like candles going around the house and once I learned the harmful effects that it was doing to my body I definitely and then learning about seed to seal it like I mean it opened my eyes to literally so much and so Young Living um getting especially for this Christmas um gifting people a seed to seal oil um, a seed to seal product is so important. And um, the reason why is because the farming is just like the standards are so high. Um, they have um, where their farming is just the, the crops, everything have never been, they've not been sprayed in over 50 years with any kind of harmful chemicals. And they're harvesting those, um, the different seeds, the heirloom seeds, um, they're harvesting those uh, and planting them at the perfect time. And so that is, that's what makes that that oil, that product so um, beneficial to our bodies um, because there is so much, um, because the oil is like, and the seed is, is at its best and the standard is like with excellence. And so um, Young Living is just like a pioneer in seed to seal standard. Um, they, to me, it's like, they can't, it's not, it's not just like a slogan that they go by. It really is like a lifestyle that they want every single person to be, to have in their home. And so, I don't know, I just think about that for Christmas time as we're like, you know, there's so many people that are getting perfumes and getting, and they really can't even, they don't even know what they're bringing into their home. And so that seed to seal standard, you know, that you're bringing in safe things to your house. You know, that you're putting in safe stuff on your kids. You're putting in your teething, all your, you know, the teething ornament, the teething necklaces and everything like that is just, you know, you're getting that seed to seal standard. Um, so it is, um, it's definitely, it's been tested, uh, definitely over 15 times um and so it's and they third party test it as well so it definitely beats the standards of any other oils that our family has ever used so um that is just a little bit about seed to seal but if you want to know more about that they have a whole website that you can go to and it's called seed to seal.com and you can see where they do their farmings and you can have farm tours so it's pretty incredible that's something that was like eye-opening and made me fall in love with young living so i'm going to pass this over to miss jenny and she's going to talk to you about essential rewards all right thank you um, I want to uh, touch base real quick with you about uh, me. The reason why I like the uh, Central Rewards so much is because, as you see with my DIY, I like a bargain. I like to use what I have, what's been given to me, and what I already have in the house. And uh, so I like to stretch my oils and stretch my dollar. And um, that's, that's just, um, just, just me. And I'm sure we all are on a budget and especially this time of the year. And um, we've been talking tonight about different oils to put in your perfume and, and, and they're not in the kit. And uh, so how do, you, how do you get an oil that's not in the kit? You get on your, you sign up, you get your kit and then you get on essential rewards. And then in your next order, then you try to get, um, one or two bottles at a time to try to get you know what you need for yourself and your family um that way you build your you build your uh, lifestyle you build your um oil collection and whatever is best for you there's an oil out there that that you may like and um say that i need that to have in my household and there's an oil that i might like so um it all depends on you know what you're looking for uh what journey you're on your uh wellness journey um, each of us have a different journey and Central Rewards is the best way to get to your end goal. And um, when you start out with the Central Rewards, first you get your kit, first you get started. And when you sign up, then you ask to be put on the Central Rewards right then. And then that way, 
you're already um, one step ahead of the game because in order to um, start building your um, percentage is uh, one to three months is 10%. So if you've already signed up and, and on essential rewards, you only have two more months left in your, in your uh, wheelhouse. And you are required to um, do $50 a month to stay in essential rewards. And, um, but if you have a need one month to spend more money or less money each month, you need to be consistent on how you do your wellness journey. And um, so then at month at four, then you get into 20% level. And then at month 25, you're at 25% level. And what that, what that does is that's like you spend X number of dollars and then you get X number of dollars back, a different, a higher percentage. And so the more you spend, the, the, the more you get back. And um, it takes time to, um, to get your uh, amount of oils that you need. But we're not here to, to buy thousands and thousands of dollars or uh, oils tonight. We're on a journey and we need to do our journey the best way for us and our family. And um, if there's, um, and then you can customize it like anytime you, you want to add to it or, or make it less, or um, you just try to stay consistent with it. That's, that's the joy of doing it um, with us as a group. And they're gonna to talk to you more about the wellness journey, but you stay with us as a group and maybe um, you're not sure of this oil or that oil, then you can contact one of us and we can say, well, this is what did helped me. I helped this helped me with this situation that helped me with that situation. And uh, that's why I, I love the stain stick that I made tonight is because um, not only could I use it for a stain stick, I could use it for other things and I can look in, in different books and I can see that I can use lemon for different reasons. I could um, put it in my water or I can uh, take off uh, sticky stuff or whatever um, I need it for. So it's just a, a journey and uh, we love to help you in every way we can. And um, you build your points and you get, you get gifts every, every month um, when, you, when you order. You get uh, the promos, you get gifts that way. And also as you stay on uh, at the three month level, the six month level, the ninth month level and the 12th month level, level, you get a free gift just for staying consistent. And so there, I don't think there's any company out there that would do that for you. I know some companies, they give you like a percentage, like maybe Target gives you 5% or something like that. But who's going to give you 25% back? I've, I've not heard of it. So um, just stick with us and let us help you. And uh, we'll do this journey together. And uh, um, I, just, I just love all the essential rewards. That's, I think that's the best thing that there is. Y'all have a, a great night. God bless y'all. All right, thank you, Miss Jenny. Thank you, Haley. Thank you so much for sharing with us. So guess what I did while I was nursing my baby and holding him? Um, he woke up while Haley was talking. I finished all five of these room sprays and I went ahead and tagged them too. So look how cute these turned out. I don't know if you can see them, but isn't that cute? All right, so I've got five here. And then I also, I forgot I wanted to show you this. Like if you got some of those like cinnamon sticks, that I was telling you about. Um, you can find them on Amazon. These are from the bulk herb store. I got a half pound of them, um, but these are little cinnamon sticks and you can add them to like a little package of whatever you're making. If it has cinnamon in it, or um, maybe you're doing thieves tea combo. These would be great to stick in um, thieves tea, um, like with some tea bags, or maybe you're gifting someone, like I was talking to you about like giving this back to my mom, a diffuser blend with um, Christmas spirit in it and vanilla, I'll totally put a cinnamon stick with it. So adding a little something like that is such like a luxury because they can use this. And I just put some of that sparkly tool that I had. Um, but anyways, that was super easy. This, I wanted to show you this too. This is a really easy perfume roller that you can make for Christmas. Um, I want you to see this. This is another idea to put like organic matter in it. These are just little rose petals that you can stick um, in your rollers. Isn't that so pretty? So this recipe is cinnamon bark, vanilla, citrus fresh, and Northern Lights black spruce. I had all of these already in my cabinet. This one was actually gifted to me from a friend, but I have all of these. 
And who doesn't have little rose petals you can go get? If you don't have any, you can order those as well on Amazon or Etsy. People sell like flower petals all the time, but look how cute that is. That would be so special. Like if I'm just thinking like ahead of time, but like if someone you know is getting married or maybe they have like a first date or you got a bouquet of flowers from your mom's funeral or whatever the thing is, you got some fancy flowers from your husband for your birthday and you really want to hold on to it, you can make a perfume roller with it. Like how pretty is this? Like just having some little um, petals in there and you can totally like just add those to these. They're so pretty. So this is cinnamon bark, vanilla, citrus fresh, and northern light flax spruce. Five to ten drops of each and then fill the rest up with carrier oil and it smells divine and it's a great immune, immune <laughs> booster and it smells really good. It's very grounding. So I just want to show you that like that's done and I love that these all have like a stick of cinnamon in them as well. So yay, I'm done with some gifts. <laughs> Thank y'all for coming to class tonight. Okay, so I'm going to talk to you about wellness chat. So Wellness chats are something that we love to do um, when we help friends get started in Young Living, and it's just our way of helping you to personalize why you need oils in your life. Like, I got oils because I wanted to ditch um, toxic fragrance in our home, and I had already ditched it, and our house smelled like an old shoe. Like, all the time, it just smelled like an old shoe. It didn't matter what I did naturally. It just smelled like an old shoe, and so I got a kit of oils with my friendly Anne Peace, who I who shared all of these graphics and little drops in November. So I got a kit with her and my plan was just to diffuse them to replace candles in our home. Our home started smelling amazing, amazing. I didn't even know what I was doing. So I just diffused what smelled good. I did like three drops of each because I love pinching pennies like Miss Jenny. <laughs> and so I was like, I'm just gonna do like three drops. And when this one's done, I'm gonna do three drops and three drops and three drops. And I just went and my kit, no, no joke, lasted me like seven months from just diffusing alone. One time I made thieves tea, all the other times was just diffusing. So you can stretch your kit. Um, our friend, Jennifer, my cousin, Jennifer, who normally is on teaching with us, she loved her kit so much that she, she's a little bit more heavy handed with things and her kit lasted her like two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so it really just depends on, you know, all the things. Now, she also had me whispering in her ear too, like, hey, Jennifer, you can do this and you can do this and you can do this with your kit because I was helping her and she had so many needs that she wanted to get met um, with her oils. Now, I'm not telling you I want you to fly through your oils by any means. I really want you to make the most of it and get the biggest bang for your buck. But you do not want your kit of oils just sitting there on a shelf. Now, we've had people... If you don't order on your account after a year, um, your account will go inactive. Now, when we have in, when we have contacted people about that um, and wanted to go ahead and help them get some more oils, like starter kit oils, they have said, this is so sad. Oh, I still have all my starter kit oils. After a year later, I'm like, no, that should not be the case because those starter kit oils are the everyday oils. They are oils that you can use every single day for your wellness, especially right now. Miss Jenny was just sharing with you about how you can make an easy stain stick with your lemon. Lemon's amazing for building up your white blood cell count. Everyone needs that. You can add a few drops of lemon to your water in a glass or a stainless steel um, container and you can drink lemon water all day long. You can be fancy and you can make lavender lemonade if you want to. Like you can do all the things, but lemon is amazing. It's $6 for a bottle, $6. So that is so budget friendly and it's building up the white blood cell count in your immune system. So your immune system is healthier. It's stronger. It's fighting for you so you're not getting sick. And it also is really great at preventing and clearing up stones in your body. So any kind of stones you can think of, gallstones, bladder stones, kidney stones, it clears them up. So I have had plenty of people talk about how they got theirs cleared up even over the weekend with a little bit of fasting. So I love our oils, they're amazing. And just like Haley said, they're all seed to seal um, certified. So they are therapeutic grade, they're safe to take internally. And they're amazing for doing all things. Now, um, we want to help you come up with your own wellness plan with your oils. So you're not just you're not just sitting there with a kit of oils on your shelf and you're like, what am I going to do with this? Like, 
you may not want to just diffuse your oils away. You might have a plan for them. So we want to help you get a plan together. So have a wellness chat with one of us, reach out to us, whoever invited you to class, reach out to us. And we would love to do, do like a 15, 20 minute call with you just to get you started on this wellness journey, because we've been on it with our family for, we're going on six years, six years ago, we said yes to Young Living and our lives have been dramatically changed. So we want to help you just reach out to one of us and we will help you get a wellness plan just right for you, specifically tailored just for you. And when you do, and you hop on essential rewards, like Ms. Jimmy was talking about, and you finish your three months, so you're at that 20% back earning on your essential rewards order, we want to celebrate with you for saying yay for you investing into yourself or your family or whoever you're like, you're saying yes to every month with essential rewards. We want to help you. I'm looking, I can't go get it, but I'm looking over here on my shelf. I have a beautiful collection of oil roller bottles that are made from whimsy and wellness. They're beautiful. You can go on Pinterest and look them up. They're whimsy and wellness. They make beautiful personalized um, rollers every month, a new collection releases. We want to get you one of those collections just as an, a celebration. Congratulations, gift for saying yes to your health and investing into yourself a little bit every month. So just reach out to us and we'll get that started for you. I'm going to be passing this on to Kaylin and she's going to bring us the devotion tonight. That is so good. Um, I have to say that I can tell if I don't have my oils, it has to be in the diffuser in my drink and I take capsules. So <laughs> I love my oils. Um, so God usually um, waits to the last minute with me and everything is like Holy Spirit spur of the moment thing. Um, so last night I was like, um, Lord, the class is tomorrow. You haven't told me what I'm talking about yet. <laughs> and I lay down to go to sleep and he said, restore. And I was like, oh, that's a good one. So um, I was praying on it and um, I just felt like his word was um, after this year and everything that we've gone through. Um, I mean, I think everybody I know, they've not only gone through like COVID and stuff like that, but they've gone through like marriage issues, children issues, like job issues. There's so much that this year has, you know, brought. Um, and so I just feel like the Lord is wanting to let you know, to let us all know that he's restoring um, everything we've lost, not just this year, but from the past, like it's a new season, um, where he's going to restore everything. Um, restore appears 136 times in the Bible. Um, and whenever I was praying about it, I thought mostly, um, Joseph that went to prison, um, and, um, Job, of course, everybody thinks about Job. So, um, I will read those two scriptures, um, that, he gave me uh job 42 10 says the lord restored the fortunes of job when he had prayed for his friends and the lord gave job twice as much as he had before and then the other one was first peter 5 10 and um it says but may the god of all grace who called us to his eternal glory by christ jesus after you have suffered a little while perfect establish strengthen and settle you to him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Um, and so I just wanted to encourage everyone that I, I feel like that double portion and that restoration um, is about to be released from the Lord and that um, you're going to get double for your trouble and that um, a new hope is going to be released and that you will just be able to rest in the Lord and you will he's going to show us all um, that he is so faithful and that he'll be there and he will show up like we've never seen him before. Um, and so I'm super excited for that to happen. Uh, and I just wanted to kind of end this year on that good note too of restoration and his love and his peace and his joy is just going to pour out onto us. So um, I just thank you, Father, for this class. And I thank you for speaking to us and always being with us, for giving us dreams and visions, um, for 
you being the joy, you said that um, you'll give us joy for our morning. Um, and we just thank you, God, that good stuff is coming, that we have hope. Um, and we just pray, God, that um, we can be the light. You said that we are the light on of the world. Um, and let us be the salt of the earth that purifies and cleanses. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. And Stephanie, um, I think. Really? Yeah, thank goodness. <laughs> That was so good. Thank you so much, Kaylin. We all need some restoration right now. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. I know we're all looking forward to it too with 2021 coming and just all the things, all the goodness. And yes, God is definitely, he is a God of restoration. He's a God of hope and he's not going to leave us where we are. So if you don't know Jesus, <laughs> talk to us more than you talk to us about oils, talk to us about your eternal um, life. We want to talk to you about that because God has given us so much hope and courage and restoration and redemption in our lives um, with us knowing him. And it's just amazing the platform that he's given to us to be able to help people with his creation. Like we don't deserve it. We haven't done anything to earn it, but he has allowed us to have it. And he is just so, so, so good. So let us talk to you. If you are lacking in the hope department, um, there's more of that in Jesus than there is in the bottle of hope. So um, there's that. And then also tonight is our, oops, I poked my baby in the head. Tonight is our last class of the year as far as these Tuesday night classes go. So normally what it looks like um, when it's not COVID season is in December, it's so busy. And just like it is now, um, it's busy. You're, you're, your mind is so busy with stuff. Your heart's full with so much. You have family gatherings. I've just talked to my neighbor and they're actually doing a lot of Zoom gatherings with their family. Um, we are doing more traveling. I just got back from my brother and sister-in-law's house in Tennessee. They just moved there, but we're all doing so much, a, a lot of celebrating right now, gathering with our families. So we do not want to tax your schedule because we do have Monday night classes still going on. Um, we had Monday night classes last night with our field farming crew group, and they are amazing, amazing, amazing. So this coming Monday night, we have our extreme winter wellness class. Now, the winter is a time when our immune systems are at their lowest, right? Because our bodies are cold. We're not getting enough sunlight. We're eating all the sugar. Like we're busy, busy, busy. We're not getting enough sleep. And because of that, our immune system gets really taxed. So it's a little bit harder to keep yourself together when you are in the hustle and bustle mode. So you might have something creep up on you. And so we want to talk to you about extreme winter wellness, things that you can do when those when those winter blues come on you, we're going to talk about that. Um, this coming Monday night, the class is at nine o'clock and it is on Zoom. Um, we do post those classes. It's the same link. So if you want to get smart and organized, you can save the link to your phone in the notes section of your phone. That way you don't even have to hop on Facebook. Just go to your notes section, pop it in your digital calendar, click on it, and bam, you're in right there on Mondays at nine o'clock. You can set an alert on your phone that says, hey, it's our field farming crew time. Or if you don't even remember that, just say, hey, I have a Zoom class for oils. And it's at nine o'clock Eastern or eight o'clock Central, uh, seven o'clock Pacific. And then click on it when your little alert comes up on your phone. You can pop right in there. You'll be there with us. We always have something fun going on. Um, this Monday night, you're not going to want to miss it because we also have $125 that we're giving away collectively. With a, um, We have 12 admins. Leanne Peace and myself are both admins um, in the field farming group. So there are 10 others of us that collaborate and put this group together. So it's a collaboration of women from all over the nation and our team. Teams and we have the best time. So you're not going to want to miss that. It's nine o'clock Eastern this coming Monday on Extreme Winter Wellness. Now, because of that, we really want to focus on these Monday night classes and then not take away from everything you have going on this season. So we are going to be tabling our Tuesday night class that we've been doing on Zoom until January. And we are a bunch of women that are very much in the word and praying. So we're praying about whether or not to bring that in person to you or to move the class even to a Thursday. So join us in prayer, if you will, so we'll know what to do. And you are, feel free to leave your comments in this video and let us know what you want us to do. You can totally weigh in on it as well. Um, so if these classes have been a benefit to you, we'd love to hear about it. 
but this is the last Tuesday night class in December 2020. So enjoy your break. Enjoy your holidays. We will be back. Leanne and I have plenty of other things that we're going to be bringing your way. Thank you for joining us, ladies. Thank you so much for helping these many months. Uh, I know Haley has been in it since spring with me helping, and then we grabbed Jordan, and then we grabbed, we grabbed Kaylin, and we grabbed um, Miss Jenny, and Jennifer, who's not on tonight. So everyone has just come aboard, and thank you all so much for contributing and giving of your time and of your heart. I know it's been a sacrifice for your families, your children, your husbands. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys have blessed me more than anything. So thank you too. You guys so much. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you so much. I love you guys. I'm like tearing up over here. Okay. I, love, I will talk you to you later. Little Drops will talk to you soon. We love you guys thank so you. much. Bye. Love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.